Linda from Oregon asks, what mental exercises should one practice consistently in order to maintain a healthy and positive state? Well, let me talk about what not to do first. The one thing you don't want to do is be glued in front of the television watching coverage on the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic just around the clock. Look, there's a bias in the media, and I'm not saying that they're twisting things. I'm just saying that what makes people want to watch the news is something that is exciting, something that is breaking news, something that uh, is out of the ordinary. So they're not going to come on and tell you how many people have recovered today. They're going to tell you how many people died today, how many new cases there are today. They're not going to focus on a hospital in Nebraska where they're meeting all the needs. They're going to focus on one in uh, New Jersey where they're overwhelmed. And, and it's not that that isn't news, it is. But if it's all you watch, you can really get depressed. You can really feel like, my gosh, we're just being overwhelmed and there's got, not going to be anything left when we're done. So don't do that. Limit your time. Choose your sources carefully to get those that are at least spun that you possibly can find. And limit your time. Check in 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the evening, and the rest of the time, do these positive projects that we're talking about. And the positive projects, Robin came up with a great one the other day, and I've mentioned it a couple times because it's so good, and that is photo albuming. Look, we all of us, every computer, every phone, every iPad is, is now a camera. So we have thousands and thousands of pictures. Go through and organize those. Create albums for times, dates, events. And maybe the time will come where you want to print some of those out and give them to your grandchildren or your sister or whatever so they have something to put on their coffee table to look at. And let me tell you, even seeing the face of a loved one when you're in isolation lowers your stress, takes away loneliness, and helps you as far as your immune system is concerned. Coach Mike, any other suggestions? Yeah, I, uh, you bring up some a great point about a photo album. It's also listening to nostalgic music, music that of a certain area makes you feel a certain type of way. And I think what I've found with talking and working with people is defining a new structure in your life because there is new opportunity in that. And I think it's incredibly helpful to put on a list on a piece of paper every day. This is what I'm gonna do for my physical health today. It could be walking around the block. This is what I'm gonna do for my spiritual health. This is, it could be meditating or praying. This is what I'm gonna do for my psychological self-help. And um, this is what I'm gonna do by the end of the day today that's gonna make me feel good. And I think having that list and checking it off for people has been really helpful in reducing anxiety. You bet. Dr. Sophie, anything to add? I would say that I think this is a great opportunity for people to download apps, to learn how to meditate, learn how to relax, learn how to do breathing exercises, all the kinds of tools that they can kind of build their toolbox with. But also at the end of the day, dictating into your phone, into your notes area, and keeping a journal of how the day went, how you felt, how the day was for you, your children, your family. Because in five years, you're going to want to, you can look back on that and it's, it's interesting but at least it's a way for you to daily diffuse your feelings and get them out so you can go to sleep and try to sleep soundly and that's why i say do it at the end of the day yeah and that's so important to, to sleep soundly and i've i've said before if you will relax a couple of times during the day and i don't mean chill out but actually relax just tense your muscles relax tense your muscles relax tense your muscles relax like 10 times in a row uh, and then get your breathing regulated where it's three seconds in, six seconds out, three seconds in, six seconds out. And you do that rhythmically for at least 10 times in a row. You do that twice a day. It lasts for eight hours. I mean, you might do it for 10 minutes, but the impact lasts for hours. So all of those things can help you mentally and emotionally.